Hey guys, I got some new pendants to share with you guys real quick and some questions to answer that I've been receiving. Um, I haven't been able to answer certain questions on certain videos, so I apologize for that. It's not necessarily my fault. It's kind of a YouTube thing. I don't know why it's doing this, but it pretty much locked me out of my computer so that I can't get in and I can only use my phone app. And then my phone app has certain, um, you know, there's this, I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It only allows me to get into certain videos and certain things. So, um, unfortunately, uh, just please don't take it personal if you guys are asking me questions on videos and not seeing responses. I'm, I'm not trying to be rude. I, I, I always try to respond to people. Um, and if you do have a question that is not getting responded to, feel free to go over to my Etsy shop or my Facebook page and um, you'll usually get a response right away. Um, but regarding Facebook, I did get one person asking me a question on Facebook that I couldn't respond to. So I'm going to answer that question right now. And um, I'm not sure why Facebook wouldn't let me respond to your question. Basically, what it kept telling me was um, that you weren't accepting messages. So um, I'm going to answer it now and hopefully you see this video. It was regarding the stickers that I use for my orgones. Um, you wanted to know how I do it. Basically, this is a sticker that I buy online um, on a website called Zazzle.com. And, oh, it's getting windy. I hope the wind is going to be okay for this video. But, um, and you can buy them there, uh, 25 stickers per sheet for about $5. And then I just put a little resin into the mold and then set the sticker in on top of the wet resin and let it cure. And then do my layer of metal after um, that first layer is cured. In order <clears throat> to do, um, you know, to make these pendants look good, you always have to do them in layers. Let the resin cure layer it you know, go on to your next layer because if you try to put everything in at once, everything is going to sink to the front and you will just have a messy um, pendant that really has no design to it. So you always want to, um, each piece, like this one for example, has a crystal in front with uh, some rhodosite here. So that was my design that I made before I put the sticker in. So I put a layer of resin with crystals, then I put the, la the sticker layer in and then I put my metal layer in. So um, you can print out designs on paper, but I don't recommend it because I tried that and the uh, ink bleeds out and fades. So it doesn't look as good as um, the stickers do because the stickers have uh, some kind of coating on them so that the ink doesn't bleed out um, in the wet resin. So that is the answer to that question. And another question I've been receiving is regarding the roses. Um, I had some requests to make some more rose pendants, which I did for you guys. Um, but uh, how to do these roses? You don't want to take a rose like this um, that you've just picked and put it in the resin. Um, for one thing, they actually are a little bit too big. Um, so you want to dry them because when you dry them, they shrink really small actually a lot smaller as you can see and um, they also when you dry them it holds the the color in um, when they're wet like this it's kind of like ink it just um, the resin will fade and wilt the flower and it won't look good so you definitely want to dry your flower before you put it in to resin um, and another question I had is where I get my supplies so um, my supplies are all purchased online. The, my stones, I buy wholesale from a local stone um, dealer because um, I have a business license, so I'm able to do that. Uh, but all my other stuff, I I buy full price on eBay, and um, it's just a hit or miss. You know, sometimes I can get my copper for ten dollars a pound and sometimes I have to pay twenty. Um, it just depends on who you buy it from and who you find on eBay 
that has it in stock. There really is no special um, seller for the metals. Um, I just go on eBay and um, type in copper metal shavings or metal shavings, um, orgone metal shavings, um, several different things. I just type in the search and all kinds of metal shavings will come up and then you just kind of use your judgment on what you're looking for. Um, I go for fine metal shavings because the finer the metals, the more you can fit into um, your mold and the more powerful and orgone energy your piece will be because um, the more metal you use the, uh, with the layering of the metals and crystals, the stronger the energy is. Because if you just have a bunch of empty resin, you're not going to have a really strong vibration um, because resin is just you know, a form of plastic. So you really want to get that metal in there. So fine metal is good. Uh, the, the resin I use is ice resin, which is quite pricey and I don't get that wholesale. Um, I could get it wholesale if I wanted because I have a business license, but I would have to buy it in huge amounts and I don't make enough pendants to buy it in such a large amounts of resin so I just pay full price for that and you can also get that anywhere online um, uh, you can get it on eBay you can get it directly from the ice resin company it, it's pretty basic I would just google ice resin if that's the resin you want to use you don't necessarily have to use ice resin you can use any kind of resin you want for this um, I prefer epoxy resin for several reasons uh, one because it does not have a strong smell like the fiberglass resin um, and I can use it indoors and make my items that way um, if you're using fiberglass resin you got to work outside because the smell is just awful and you don't want to fill your house up with those fumes so I would definitely um, consider that so um, but yeah if you want to look for stones you can just just be careful on eBay with your stones because there's a lot of sellers on there that will sell fake stones and it's you can be easily deceived that way and you got to be careful because um, fake they're doing really good at making you know stones look real uh, so that's one thing you got to be careful with and it's usually the more expensive stones that are that are faked so if you're looking for an expensive stone say like Sudulite or Tanzanite or something um, and it's really cheap then you're gonna know that that is most likely not really Sudulite and Tanzanite I mean just use logic with that but um, you can get some good deals on eBay though so and I still do with some of the stones but I usually just use my local rock shop dealer because I know that the stones are real and I'm not you know I have no worries about wasting money on fake stuff but anyways um, these are some of my latest pendants and um, this one here is a custom one it turned out so so pretty it's got um, all stuff for angel connection and Christ consciousness and she chose, um, she pretty much chose the design. She wanted the cross to be laid on the moonstone like that. And um, I thought that was a great idea. It turned out really pretty. Wonderful energies. And this is, oof, this is another gorgeous, very, very high vibration pendant. It's got so many um, high vibration, very high quality stones inside of it. It's got ruby, sunstone, rhodazite, labradorite, emerald dioptase, aqua aura, turquoise, tanzanite, sutulite, aurora light, and opal. And um, very, very powerful. Very, very strong energy. The metals are copper and steel and gold. And then I added some herbs in there as well for high vibration. Uh, lavender and roses. Those are the two two very high vibration flowers that um, I like to put inside of my pieces. I also like to um, grind up sage and put that inside of my pieces as well. And I also use essential oils um, inside of the resin as well. But um, the opals, I'm trying to show you how pretty the, the labradorites are nice and flashy and the opal is really flashy. The sun's really bright right now so it's hard to catch all the awesome flashes, but um, it's a gorgeous pendant. I'm really proud of it, and I would 
probably be making another one for myself because I really like that one. So, um, anyways, and then I did have requests for these uh, roses that are surrounded in opals and um, because these are really popular and always so, so pretty. Um, most of these are up in my Etsy shop. Some of them are not, but if there is one that is not in my Etsy shop, you can always message me and let me know that you're interested and you want to know if I still have it available.